Yirmiyahu chapter 52. Bene Asherim wa ahad shana tidqiyahu bimalko wa ahad shana malak biru shalem wa shemhimu hamut al bat Yirmiyahu millivna Zidqiyahu was the son of twenty and one years in his reign, and eleven years he reigned in Yerushalem, and the name of his mother was Hamutal, the daughter of Yermiyahu from Livna. Kukul atra asha yohoyakim. And he effectuated the evil in the eyes of Yahweh, like all which Yehoyakim effectuated. Ki ala hap Yahweh hayata bi Yerushalem, we Yehuda ad hishli kohotam me alpanau. Because on account of the anger of Yahweh, it became in Yerushalem and in Yehuda until his throwing them from upon his face, his presence. Why Yimrod Tidqiyahu b'Melech Babel, and Tidqiyahu rebelled. Against the king of Babel. Why Yahi Abasha na had to she eat the Moloko? Bahodet ha ashiri, be ashur la hodet. Bah Nabuchadurius or Melech Babel, who were called Helo, Alla Yerushalem. Why ya hanu aleha? Why ya venu aleha da ye kasabib? And it was in the ninth year for his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth to the month, Nabukudur Ryutur, king of Babel, came, he and all his army, upon Yerushalem. And they camped over it, and they built against it siege works, a siege wall round about. What a bohair bamator Ada Ashate Ashate Ashare Shana Lamelk Sidkiahu. And the city went in under the siege until the eleventh year for King Sidqiyahu. Bahodeth harbi e betisha ala hodeth wai yehzak harra gab ba'ir waloha ya lehm la amhar in the fourth month in the ninth for the month the famine seized in the city or took hold in the city and there was not bread for the people of the land and the city was breached, and all the men of the battle, all the men of the war, fled 
and they went out from the city by night, the way of the gate between the walls, which was upon the garden of the king, and the Kashtim were over the city round about, and they went out the way of the Araba. And the army of the Kashtim pursued after the king. And they overtook Sidqiyahu in the plains of Yarecho. And all his army was scattered from over him. And they seized the king. And they brought him up to the king of Babel, to Ribla. In the land of Hamad, and he worded with him judgments. And the king of Babel slew the sons of Sidqiyahu before his eyes. And all and also all the princes of Yehuda he slew in Rivla. And the eyes of Sidqiyahu he made blind. And he bound them in bronze things, in fetters. And the king of Babel brought him to Babel. And he gave him to the house of the watching, the house of oversight or prison, until the day of his death. And in the fifth month, in the tenth to the month, it is the year, the nineteenth year for the king Nabukuduriyutur, king of Babel. Nabu Zarahadan, the chief of the slaughterers or the guard, came and he stood before the king of he stood before the king of Babel in Yerushalem. Why Yishrop et bet et bet Hamelk and he burnt the house of Yahweh. And the house of the king. We're at the cool about a Yerushalem. We're at the cool bit of Haggad all shar of Baesh. And all the houses of Yerushalem and every house, every great house, he burnt in the fire. We're at the cool home of the Yerushalem. Zabib, and all the walls of Yerushalem round about,
all the army of the Kashtim which were with the chief of the executioners pulled down, broke down. Umid, umid dalot ham, we et yet ham, han nisharim ba'ir, we et han nopalim, utter nifalu, nafalu, el melk bavel, we et yet rahamun, hegala, nabu zarahadan, rub dabahim. And from the poor ones of the people, and the rest of the people, those remaining in the city, and the ones falling, which fell to the king of Barvel, and the rest of the workmen, he exiled. Nabu Zara'adan exiled. Nabu Zara'adan, the chief of the slaughterers, or guard, exiled. We made the Lord the harsh. He shared the Buzar Hadan Rab Tabahim. The Koramim Ule Yoga Beam. And from the poor ones of the land, he let remain. The Buzar Hadan, the chief of the executioners, let remain for vine dressers and for husbandmen. Where the Ammu de Han Hoshet at the Levet Yahweh, where at the Hamco Nort, where the Yam Han Hoshet at the Bebet Yahweh, Shibru Kashadim, why Yeshu at the Colon Hoshet Arm, Babel. And the pillars of the bronze which were for the house of Yahweh, and the bases and the sea of bronze, which were in the house of Yahweh, the Kashdim broke, shattered, and they lifted all, the, all their brass to Babel. We at the ham is a rock, we at the hack up pot, we at the cold cale, han hoshet, at the yesharret, yesharret uva him, la kahu. And the pots, and the shovels, and the snuffers, and the uh, sprinkling bowls, and the spoons. And all the vessels of the bronze, which they served by them, they took. Where the Hasipim, where the Hamahatot, where the Hamizrakot, where the Hasirot, where the Hamanorot, where the Hakapot. Where the Hamanaki yot, utter the hab, the hab, where utter Kesser, Kesser, Kasser, Laka, Rub Tabahim. And the cups, and the fire pans, and the sprinkling bowls, and the pots, and the lampstands, and the spoons. And the bowls, whatever was gold, gold, and whatever was silver, silver. He took the chief of the slaughterers, or captain of the guard. Ha'amudim thenaim ha'yam ehad v'habakar thenaim ashar n'hoshet atr tahat hamkonot Atra asha ha milk shalomo, levet yah, lo ha ya mithkal, lin hushatam, kol ha kelim ha The pillars, two, 
the C1 and the oxen, 12 of bronze, which were under the bases, which, which were under the bases, hmm. which the king, Shalom Moore, effectuated for the house of Yahweh. Right. And their weight, there was not a weight for their silver of, of all these vessels. So that's what the Hebrew text says. But as you can see, there is some dispute about the reading there. Hi, hard. Wahoot, the tame Ashare Hamma. You so banu, you so yo araba at the nabub. And the pillars, eighteen cubits, the height of a pillar, the height, the height of the one pillar. And a cord of twelve cubits surrounded it, and its thickness four fingers hollow. And the capital upon it was bronze. And the height of the the one capital, five cubits. Ushavaka Wurimonim Alahako Terat Sabib Hakol Nohoshet and a network and pomegranates upon the capital round about. The whole was bronze. Mm. La amud hatheni warimonim. And like these for the second pillar and pomegranates. Why you harimonim tisheim washitha ruha. And the pomegranates were ninety and six on the sides or towards the wind. Kol harimonim meach al hashabacha sabib All the pomegranates were a hundred upon the network round about. Wayyikka rabbat abbahim at the Shara Yako Hen Harosh, where the Safana Yah, Kohen Hamithana, where the Thalothed Shomare Hassap. And the chief of the slaughterers took Shara Yah, the head priest, and Safana Yah, the second priest, and three keepers of the threshold women hair la kahsaris had at rahaya faqid ala nashe hamil hama wishiva ah nashim merro epne hamelk at nimish Nimitahuva, Nimitahuva, ear. Where it so fair shar hashaba? Hum at the bee at the amharish. Wish you theme he shall me amharish. Hun nimitahim betoke ha ear. And from the city he took one eunuch. Or officer, which was mustered over the men of the battle, and seven men from those seeing the faces of the king, 
which were found in the city. And one a scribe, the prince of the army, the one who caused the, the people of the land to be to be made into an army. And 60 men from the people of the land, the ones found in the midst of the city. And Nabu Zarahadan, chief of the executioners, took them. And he brought them to the king of Babel to Rivla. And the king of Babel struck them and he killed them in Rivla in the land of Hamat. And he carried away Yehuda captive from over its ground. The Ha'am Atar Hegala Nubuk Dur Yusur Bishanat Sheva Yehudim Thalot Tahalapim Wesharim Uthalotha This is the people which Nabukudur Yusur exiled or carried away captive in the, s the seventh year. Yehudim, three thousand and twenty and three. Vishanatha Thamona Eshare Linabukudur Yusur Mirushalem Nepeshathamona in the 18th year of Nebuchadur Yusur, from Yerushalem, 832 souls. Bishanatha Thalotha <laughs> Wesharim Lenebuchadur Yusur Hegala Nabu Zarahadana Rabbat Abahim Yehudim Nepeshesheva Amehot Arabahim Wachamisha. In the twenty third year to Nabu Kudur Yusur, Nabu Zarahadan, chief of the executioners, exiled captive Yehudim. Seven hundred Forty and five souls. Call and Nepesh Araba at Halafim, Wisheth Mehot. Every soul, four thousand and six hundred. Why ya here? Why ya here? Bithalothim, Washeva, Shana. Lagalut Yohoyakin Melak Yehuda Bithanema Ashar Hodeth Beshari Esharim Waham Wahamishala Hodeth Nasha a wheel Marodak Melak Babel Bith Bishanat Malakuto at the Rosh Yehoyakin, Melk Yehuda, why your Shehoto, me bet Hakalu. And it was in the thirty and seventh year of the exile of Yehoyakin, the king of Yehuda, in the twelfth month. In the twenty and fifth for the month, a wheel Morodak 
king of Babel in the in the year of his reign lifted up the head of Jehoiakim king of Yehuda and he brought him out from the house of the prison why dabberito tobot and he worded with him good things why yitna at the kiso mimal lakise hamlakim atrito babel and he worded with him good things and he gave his throne from over to the throne of the kings which were with him in Babel. Wishing na at the bigger their killer and he changed the garments of his imprisonment. And he ate bread before him continually. All the days of his life. And his allowance, a continual allowance, was given to him from the king of Babel, the matter of a day in its day, until the day of his death, all the days of his life. 